All right, Mr. Tyson, it's good to see you here. First off, what brought you to uh, Meet the Streets? Well, first, I live in New York City, so this is my hometown. And think of all the stuff that goes on in Times Square, and now, like, there's wrestling in Times Square. How am I, how am I gonna miss that? So I rearranged my whole week's schedule to come here to, like, bring aside seats to see amateur wrestling. I and mean, that's, that's great. This is great. What's your background with, with wrestling? Well, I used to, I wrestled in high school. I was captain of my team, undefeated, in high school, but it was more of a gentlemanly contest. Uh, I went to the Bronx High School of Science. So, captain of that team, it's not like being captain of any high school in Iowa. <laughs> so, so, but nonetheless, I developed a deep appreciation for the sport. And I studied physics in college, wrestled in college, I wrestled at Harvard. And, but to me, to me, a wrestling match is just the laws of physics. <laughs> and so, uh, where is the tipping point? Where is the center of mass? What are the support forces? And that's how I thought about it. And I wanted to invent a new move called the double tidal lock. Because in, in space, two objects can orbit one another and one can use tidal forces to lock it so it always shows the same face. Earth has done that to the moon. The moon always shows the same face to Earth. We have tidally locked the moon. And I wanted some kind of wrestling move where I tidally locked the person. I never came up with one, though. <laughs> but other than that, I've retained a, a deep interest and respect for the sport ever since the beginning. Then I heard they thought of removing it from the Olympics, and I, I said, what? Like, what? This stuff is on the sides of Grecian urns, and you're going to take it out of the Olymp- what? What? And so, fortunately, it's, it's in for a while, I understand, but but I, I will be a great defender of this sport if anything comes of it. Do you follow the NCAs? Not as closely as I should and want to, because I don't get it on TV, and I and when it was on ESPN2, caught carried or something, I couldn't follow it. That was a way when it happened, but I wish there was much more wrestling on television than there is. You were busy doing something the most dynamic. Work yeah, I was trying to. Sometimes the universe calls. <laughs> the cosmos. <laughs> the cosmos calls, and I got to, you know, when the cosmos calls, I got to be there for it. And you're all finished up with that. Yeah, we finished it. Thanks for asking. And we have three more to air, but I'm. I mean, it was. You're it, done. With it's it. in the can. Your production levels. It, the production's done. So yeah, yeah. And it's on Netflix now. You yeah. Said, right? No, 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 no. I did something else that showed Other up on lectures? Netflix. Yeah, lectures? some lectures I did. On, on, on the, the frontier of our understanding of the universe. Uh, but I think they're fun lectures, but I, I shouldn't be the ultimate judge of that. <laughs> it's on Netflix. It's, it's, it's uh, I forgot what do you call it, the mysterious universe? Or the, uh, uh, the unknown, it's, on it's Netflix? yeah, it's on Netflix. You just look for Tyson on Netflix. Yeah. If you get to, Tyson. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> you might get Mike him. Tyson, I don't yeah. know. <laughs> Was there a Tyson chicken movie? a little movie? bit of difference between you and <laughs> Yeah, there's a couple. It should, wise, it should be easy to find the difference, I'm thinking. Yeah. This event here, you know, Jordan Burroughs, first off. How electrifying is Jordan Burroughs there at the end? Oh, man. Oh, the energy. Oh, my gosh. You know, I mean, it was, it was, and then to win it in a pin with two seconds left. I mean, that was stunning. Stunning. It was, the takedown became the pin. I mean, what more do you want? And then his coach came over and got a picture with you, uh, Coach Snyder. Dr. Snyder, as a matter of fact. Oh, yeah, good, good. Yeah, I believe the doctor of philosophy from Nebraska. But, you know, knowing that there's other people in wrestling who respect you as an academic, what's that like? No, that's good. I, and it's, it's a little bit of responsibility. But I always reflect on my time as a wrestler. Uh, anyone who's wrestled knows that it's the hardest thing in the world to do. And anyone who says something else is the hardest thing has never wrestled. That's what I have found. And so when I think of the frontier of astrophysics, the challenges, we do it not because it's easy, but because it's hard. You don't wrestle because it's easy. You wrestle because it's hard. I don't do astrophysics because it's easy. I do it because it's hard. And I, I, I juxtapose the two in my mind, body, and soul all the time. What's your favorite thing about, you know, being someone in the limelight now and, and being able to elevate the sport of wrestling? Yeah, I mean, it, like I said, it's a responsibility because now people come to me to get my opinion on everything. <laughs> And so, but no one asked me about wrestling except for now, and I'm happy to, I'm happy to give John my. John Stewart never asked. No, no, about never, wrestling? never asked me about wrestling. Um, I think I saw you on that last. I, think I, saw, that last. I saw you last. And uh, by the way, I'm taller than most wrestlers that I encountered. I wrestled 190 in college when, when people when we're still going by pounds. Uh, so I had a long reach, like I'm scratching the back of your head now. <laughs> <laughs> and so I was good at ankle picks and things, but usually the guys are stronger than I was because I was taller. And strength goes as the cross section of your muscle area. And so, but it was fun and I knew that in advance. 
and I tried to exploit what I was best at to make that happen. There's one thing you want people to know about wrestling. What is it? In the mainstream, you're a main, you know, you're in the mainstream now. Yeah, Whether yeah. Whether you like it or not, you are. What's one thing you would like to tell people? You know, I've got to say that wrestling, being base other than running, it's got to be the oldest sport. It's got to be one of the oldest things humans have ever done, and 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 it's the purest of sport. And I think there's something to be said for that in an era where sports come with so much accoutrement and rules and and, 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 and occasionally you just want to see a contest. A contest where nobody gets hurt, but it's an invocation of the greatest in speed and strength that there is. That is the sport of wrestling. You got me thinking about science, you got me thinking about wrestling, you got me thinking about it all. Mr. Tyson, thank you for the time. Thank you, thank and you. Enjoy more wrestling. All right, I'm here for it. Good.